What is up, Kratix? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles. Never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Dundreary Landstalker. So this vehicle is an OG one that's been in the game since day one and can be purchased from a Seven San Andreas website for $58,000 or of course you can get off the street for free. Now the Landstalker name was first introduced in GTA 3 and was also featured in GTA Vice City, San Andreas, Liberty City Stories, Vice City Stories, and GTA 4 as well, which the GTA 4 one pretty much identical to the one we have in GTA 5. Now in terms of performance, the Landstalker is in the SUVs class, and as you can imagine, it's one of the slower ones around the pace of the Dubsta and the Habanero. But anyways, in terms of what the Landstalker is based on, it's primarily based on the third generation Ford Expedition, mixed with the Lincoln Navigator as well. Also, the headlights and taillights are inspired by a Range Rover, which is definitely very random. But of course, as we know, especially back in GTA 4, Rockstar was combining random designs from tons of different vehicles and random parts like headlights and taillights and <laughs> a bunch of different parts, so that's kind of why I did that here. A really strange design, but I mean, I guess it sort of works. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Landstalker. All right, Landstalker. Okay, we got armor, brakes, typical stuff. We have one bumper option, which is a custom front splitter. All right, looks pretty good there. Not bad. Engine, exhaust, let me give it some gas here. Chrome tip, oh, a little bit larger there, I guess, okay. Lights, do some xenons. Our Range Rover lights there. <laughs> License plates, a black background. I don't think I have a good plate for this, honestly. Um, hmm. You know what? It is kind of like family SUV, right? We'll just see, even though I use this for something else, but <laughs> we'll, just, we'll throw it on there. Uh, respray. We'll do metallic. Let's go here. I think a nice dark blue um, will look great. So let's go here to our blue section that I passed. Let me go back here. And there we go. Uh, so I'm thinking a nice, was it the Saxon blue or the, oh, here we go. Yeah, the Galaxy blue. And then pearlescent will do a nice Galaxy green. And I think in, like, in direct sunlight, it looks really good. So you can kind of see what light hit it there. I think it's a really good color combo. So we'll do that. Um, secondary color is your bottom trim. You can kind of see it there. So that's your secondary color. Interior stitching, there's no special interior stitching on this thing, is there? Not that I can tell, okay. So it's just the exterior colors on there. Now, you could probably go with like white or black for this or a silver, but honestly, I don't really like the way it looks on this particular SUV. Um, I don't like the separation, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make that match. So we'll just go here to our Galaxy Blue and then just make it match. Boom, I think it looks a lot better like that on this sort of design for this car. I think it looks a lot better. A uh, crumblum goes on the hood for this one. Roof, you can add a roof rack. Okay. Oh, look at that. And a little, like the center section there is primary color. That's pretty cool. All right. Side steps. So you can add, I so there's already a side step there in black. You can see it there. Uh, but then you can add an extended one that's chrome and it hangs really low. I don't like the way that looks. <laughs> it looks very kind of like utility in a way. It just doesn't look nice. It looks kind of, I don't know, excessive for like a van or something. I just, I just don't like the way that looks. So I will leave the stock side steps. Uh, suspension, I, I'm not going to lower this, I mean it's an SUV, it's supposed to be higher up, so we'll keep that, transmission, turbo, wheels. Um, so for this one, I'm not going to go for like an alloy or black wheel or even a gray, um, there's so much chrome on this SUV, 
and it is, you know, 2007, 2006, around there, inspired. So I think the proper wheel for this will be a nice chrome wheel. So we're going to go to the SUV category. I've kind of looked through all these already, and uh, the ones I personally like the most on it is these right here. I think these look really, really good on here, especially in the chrome. Um, I think they kind of suit the look of it really well. They kind of bring it to life. So we're going to do those. Skip all this. Windows will black it out. It looks a lot better now, I will admit. Definitely a nice mid 2000s SUV. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and back out here. We got all the upgrades installed. Looks a lot better than stock, that's for sure. Take it out to the sunlight and see this color. Oh, yeah. Oh, that color looks really good on there. Very nice. All right, let's give us some throttle. Copy and paste exhaust note there. We see this reused in a lot of SUVs. And even, I think, some pickup trucks as well. Okay. And it is all wheel drive, so floor it. No sp wheel spin at all, just goes. And it, it's not very quick, but I'm sure most of you have driven a regular dubster around. Um, and if you have, it, this is pretty much the same speed and um, similar kind of like lap time performance. So uh, if you've driven one of those around, you can expect something kind of similar with this. Brakes. Handles very nicely. Let's, let's push it a little bit here on this corner. Back end is a little loose, but that's actually kind of good because you don't have like a crazy amount of understeer. Because it doesn't step out completely, and you still have control of it. It actually handles pretty nice. I'm actually impressed. <laughs> Granted, we're not going very fast, but right, let's do a hairpin here. Not bad. Not bad at all. How does it react to bumps? Very smooth. Not too bad. Yeah, not not terrible. I'm uh I'm actually pretty <laughs> impressed with the way this thing handles. I didn't I didn't see this, is, this is, you never know. You see these street vehicles driving around and you never really think about, you know, customizing them. Especially one like this that looks pretty generic. This is the first time I've ever customized this car in GTA period. <laughs> and I've been playing this game since it came out in 2013. Um, I customized it because you guys suggested uh, suggested it and I'm glad I did. I actually got to experience the way this thing drives. Um, when fully upgraded, and it, it drives nice. Have to admit, have to admit, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. One last corner here. This not bad. Held its composure there pretty well. A little understeer, but I did kind of put it into that corner a little, a little too quickly. But not bad, not bad at all. All right, let's pull over and open all the doors and stuff. Definitely, the wheels definitely made a huge difference on this thing. It looks a lot better. And I think that color suits it very nicely. Alright, vehicle doors. Let's go all. Everything opens up. Nice. Engine model, as you would expect, 2013. Just copy and paste from other SUVs in game. Pretty bad texture quality. Same thing with the interior, even though for some reason Rockstar is still using this interior on newer vehicles they add to the game. Newer SUVs and stuff. <laughs> and, uh, Back here, um, pretty normal. No third row, so it's a two-row SUV. Okay. Not terrible. Um, is it worth it? I don't know. It has to be something, if you like this sort of mid-2000s SUV look, I guess. Uh, but to me, I mean, I don't think it's the nicest looking SUV. I think there's definitely better options out there. <laughs> Um, even OG SUVs off the street. I think the Dubsta's super cool, especially the Dubsta 2. Um, the Rakoto's pretty nice. The Gresley has a nice looking design. Uh, I mean, there's there's a lot of nice SUVs that are free off the street. Um, and even some lower priced ones as well. Um, all the ballers are great. So, I mean, there's there's great choices. This thing to me, it's, it's a little weird looking. Um, especially its shape. I feel like it's a little squished. I but it's, it's not as tall as I think it should be. It looks sort of like, from far away, kind of like a minivan at first glance. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's a little weird to me. The proportions are a bit strange on this thing. But it was from GTA 4, so maybe that kind of explains it, I don't know. But 
<laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.